This sleeve crafted from air dried clay makes a great adornment for a bobby pin, a paper clip, something that you can clip in your hair, clip over the page of a journal, or just tuck down inside that ribbon that binds your journal as an extra little gift. My name is Peg and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I have an eclectic taste across a variety of techniques I like to experiment and explore. I hope you'll join me by hitting that subscribe button and of course your likes help me promote my channel. Your comments are greatly appreciated and the notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. So as I said I'm utilizing this air dried or air hardened clay. I think it's easy to work with. It is a modeling clay that is very simple to mold and for the molding I picked up this fondant mold in the food section at Michael's. I'm going to use some bobby pins to attach my little mold to. So I'm just rolling out a little bit of that air dry clay and pressing it down inside this fondant mold. When I pull it out you have that nice leaf shape so I will get several of these made up and we will set them aside and allow them to dry overnight. I actually think I put these together and didn't come back to them for probably two or three days because it's been very busy here. So we have those all in the mold. I'm just going to this mold is very pliable. It's one of those silicone molds for fondant. I'm just applying a little bit of pressure to release that clay. I let it set up, not completely, but a little bit in that mold. And I'm just pulling, pulling it out. And once we have all of these released, we will of course set those aside to dry. And while those are drying, we shall prepare our vehicle to deliver these. So this is just a very simple cardboard box. I'm cutting it down into three inch by three inch squares. We'll pull out some vintage photo ink and ink around the outside edge of these. And a stencil will add just a bit more decoration on the front to give them some interest and make them look like there was some actual thought put into the giving or the packaging of these little hair ornaments or bookmarks that we are making. And I've just chosen this little circular representation on the stencil. I have some gold thread that is the remainder of a spool I've been working with. I'm going to utilize that, tie that off, just wrap it around four or five times, tie it off and create a little spot where I can clip that bobby pin. And I also have some um, scrap fabric that I'm going to be utilizing as well. Let's just get the second one decorated up here. And we'll grab that piece of scrap. It's just a little gold piece of gold shimmery fabric. Tie that into a little knot here around this piece of cardboard. And that makes a very simple, easy, but thoughtful vehicle to deliver these bobby pins. And I think these would look kind of nice tucked down. If you have a journal that closes with a ribbon, you can tuck these down inside when you gift it. There are just so many things you could do with it down inside a gift, a stocking stuff, or whatever you want to use it for. Now that I've allowed those to air dry overnight, I think I left them for a couple of days actually, I'm coming back with some fine sandpaper and just knocking off any little burr that may have accumulated around the outside edge of these little leaves. Just light pressure. I'm just going to take that in a figure eight on that sandpaper. 
or a little circular motion, if you will. And there, they clean up, clean up nicely, but we just want to make sure that we're not creating something that's going to snag. If I decide to put one of these in my hair to keep my hair out of my face, I don't want my hair snagging on a little fur on the leaf. Now let's grab these bobby pins. And we have a bobby pin for each of these little clay ornaments that we have created. I'm going to run outside and cover these with this copper, aged copper spray paint. It's just a Rust-Oleum. And I am also spray painting the bobby pins. So I have covered the front and the back. I spray painted the front, allowed them to dry, flipped them over, spray painted the back. Now I have some gilding wax that I'm just highlighting around the outside edges with some bronze gilding wax to highlight those ridges and the a little bit of the copper. I also have some gold gilding wax that I'm going to come back in with as well. So we'll just add a, a little definition to these with that with the aged copper spray paint and the two colors of gilding waxes. This is E6000 glue. It is what I will be utilizing to adhere the bobby pin to, to the adornment. I'm going to stick that bobby pin over a piece of paper so I will avoid gluing the bobby pin together. Just put a little ribbon of that E6000, press my air hardened clay leaf on that and we will allow that to set up and once again I'm going to walk away from this little project and let this E6000 set up I'm going to leave it overnight come back to it later and pull those off of my little card. The glue did stick to the paper in a couple of instances. I had to apply quite a bit of pressure to get that off. And I did wind up breaking some of the leaves off of the bobby pin with that um, X-Acto and, and the pressure. So I'm just gonna set those aside and we'll use those for something else a little bit later or we will re-glue them and uh, get them attached and give them one more opportunity to become a finished product here. And we'll just set those aside and see if they set up and see if they dry for us. Make sure we don't glue that bobby pin together. So now I'm just tucking these onto the cards. And that completes this little project and, and makes a, a nice little gift. I'm gonna tuck this down inside my gift giving playlist. But I wanted to show you it, it you know, it pulled my art journal out there, it kind of tucks right down on that page if you would like to use it that way as well. So I hope you enjoyed this. Here is the finished project, these little leaves. I think I'm going to stick one and clip one in my hair and utilize it to kind of keep my hair from falling in my face while I'm working here at my workbench. And I am revising my channel, kind of reorganizing it. So I hope you will explore around and see if there's anything else that you like here. Thank you once again for stopping by. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your subscribing to my channel. And of course, I will see you soon. Bye for now.